Hi everybody, my name is Irene Xiakos. I also go by Meg, so uh, just choose the one that you prefer. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the Office of Energy Policy and New Uses in USDA, the office assists the Secretary of Agriculture in developing and coordinating departmental energy policy, uh, energy programs and strategies. Research is currently underway on uh, biodiesel fuels, ethanol fuels and other sources of energy. OEPNU also evaluates the integration and interaction of energy with agriculture, the environment and rural communities. And within its scopes is uh, renewable energy but also fossil energy. We are pleased to be putting together this uh, set of uh, sessions with uh, CFAIR. Uh, given that in addition to uh, rural um, America being the food of uh, being the center of food and uh, agriculture, it is also currently in the epicenter of uh, American investment and deployment in renewable and fossil energy resources. The Appalachian states, Northern Dakota, Oklahoma, Texas, and Wyoming are positioned in the eye of the cell explosion currently while the Midwest and Great Plains are leading wind energy and biofuel investments. By simultaneously examining the collective impacts of several energy resources, <coughs> it's possible to obtain a more thorough assessment of the implications of federal policy-making approaches. As decision makers considering policy methods to advance America's energy and economic future, it's critical to be aware of the structure and economics of rural energy impacts for landowners and local communities. <clears throat> As wind, solar, and cell gas development have labor, leasing, and financing implications for local, regional, and national energy economics. Today's, we will hear from several applied economists and social scientists on these topics. I will uh, now take you into the first session as well, uh, where we're going to be evaluating the short-run community responses and long-term community impacts from managing the development and growth of new energy industries in rural America. For this session, we're going to have with us R Richard Cranis, which is the director of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Socio Sociology, Social Work, and Anthropology Department at Utah State University. And he's going to be looking at uh, renewables and describing short-term choices given community-specific opportunities and liabilities, as, long as, as, as well as long-term community prospects. We're also going to be having Tim Kelsey on the phone. He couldn't be with us today due to an emergency. And he's going to be looking at the case of cell and discussing considerations to community infrastructure needs, renewable management, and policy options for long-term sustainability. He will show us that timing, scale, space, and policy will determine the impacts. And lastly, for this session, we have Roger Kupal, who is a, a professor and community development specialist with the Department of Agriculture and Applied Economics at the University of Wyoming. And he will be considering how communities are preparing and adjusting to the transformation from fossil to renewable energy and how they react to and how they can react in the later stages of extractive boom bust cycles.